morning. Thanks for joining us. With cows outnumbering people, more than two to one in the state of Montana, leather is a big part of the Treasure State's heritage, and one Missoula business is transforming that rawhide into practical works of art. MTN's Eric Clements stepped inside the workshop of Gertsen Adventure Equipment, and it's this week's Montana-made product. They say necessity is the mother of invention. That's true for Joe Gertson, who from a young age knew he had a knack for creating gear to explore the great outdoors. He spent his youth altering equipment to better suit his needs. You know, hiking, backpacks, things, I, uh, that kind of stuff. And so I always kind of sewed and, and cut up things. And then I started making a fly fishing lanyard. That really took off. That fly fishing lanyard was based on a tried and true design, but Joe saw room for improvement. He set up shop in a basement and got to work. Gertson Adventure Equipment was born. And I added all the leather extravaganza to it and, the, and then the actual fly component. This is uh, pretty unique to my, my design. And then the stomach uh, strap as well, the belly strap. The lanyard success took Joe by surprise. He was able to buy better leather working equipment and move from the basement into a shop where he began to focus on crafting handmade bags. But Joe's business isn't called Gertz and Adventure Equipment for nothing. The leather he uses lives up to that name. I, I prefer, I call it kind of a cowboy leather. It's the same leather a cowboy has on his chaps. It's got scars from barbed wire fencing. It's got the brand still in it. It's got real cows that you see uh, walking around Montana. Joe says that cowboy leather makes for durable bags, but it's okay if they get beat up. Most people like them the more beat up and used they are. They, they, uh, they really age and, and, uh, and weather real nice. So. Joe and his employees can turn out about six bags on a good day, each handmade. Gertz and Adventure Equipment now ships bags worldwide, but he says there's been a learning curve. I'm good at making the bags and everything. Being a businessman, I've had to learn along the way. In Missoula, Eric Clements, MTN News. Now, Gertson says that he's happy to share his passion with the world and that he's lucky that his hobby has become his livelihood. He sells bags and lanyards at the Missoula Farmer's Market. You can find a link online on our websites.